So far, we've seen how to scrape items from a page and also how to crawl many web pages by following links. Now, we'll see how to handle a pattern that is quite common for many websites, such as e-commerces. Let's take Amazon.com as an example. Here we have a list of books and clicking on a particular book leads us to its details, where we can find more information about it. In order to scrape this, we would build a spider that goes through the list of books, following the link to each details page and scraping the book data from there. Now let's get back to our example website. Our goal now is to collect data about the authors of these quotes. If you look carefully here, in each quote we have a link to the author's detail page, like this. And here we have some relevant information about the author. In our case, we just need to get the name and the birth date. So here is how our spider will work. First, it will fetch the main page containing the list of quotes. Then, it will find all the links to the author's pages, and for each one of those, it will create a new request. When the response to that request is back, our spider will parse the details page and extract the data from it. After creating the request to the author's page, the spider will follow the pagination link and repeat the whole process in the next pages. Let's first implement the crawling logic, that is, how our spider will find and visit the details pages. Here we have a skeleton for our spider, containing the pagination logic from the previous video. Now, let's use our tool belt to understand how to get the list of links from the main page. Here in the browser, let's inspect this page using the developer tools. We can see here that the links are represented as anchors inside spun elements from the div quote blocks. So, let's try to pick them up using Scrapy Shell. To get the links, we have to select only the anchors that are children of span and grandchildren of div.quote. And we only want the href attribute. So, let's extract them. And here we have the author's links. Now, let's use this selector in our spider. I'll paste it here in the parse method and assign it to a variable. Now let's iterate over these relative URLs, build the absolute ones, and then create a new request to each one. Here we have something new. Instead of using the same callback to handle the details page, we will use a new one, tailored specifically for these kinds of pages. This is also a common pattern, to have a specific callback for each kind of page we have to parse. Let's call it parse details. And now let's add this method. As any callback it gets as a parameter the response. Here is where we will extract the data from the author. So let's go back to our browser and scrape a shell to learn how to get it. So let's inspect the name. It's represented as an h3 element with the author title class. And let's see the birth location, the birth date actually. It's represented as a span element with the author born date class. Now let's try in Scrapey Shell. Instead of closing and opening a new shell instance, we can just use the fetch method here to load the current shell with the new response. Let's quickly get the author name which is inside an h3 dot author title. Here it is. And its birth date. It's inside a span, not an h3. Great, now let's use these in our spider. We copy them and paste it them here. Let's copy the second one. Now let's create a dictionary and put this inside. The first one is the author name, the second one is the birth date. And here it is. Now let's run the spider. Let's go back to the shell. Let's save the data into a JSON file. So it's running. 
and done. As we can see here, the spider scraped 50 authors from the website. You might be wondering, why not 100 authors if the website lists 100 quotes? Well, some of the authors have more than one quote listed here, so our spider will make some repeated requests. However, Scrapy has a filter that, by default, ignore requests to pages already seen. And here we can see that 50 requests have been filtered because they were duplicates. Now let's just see the data. And here it is. And that's it. Now try this by yourself and see you in the next video.